landmark on Main Street, Gene Rimsky Theater, right here in Port Washington in the town of North Hempstead. Let's go see who's going to be performing this year. Welcome to Business Buzz. We're here at the landmark on Main Street with Executive Director Sharon Mayer Kennelly. Welcome, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Kim. Absolutely. Um, this is uh, an incredible place, uh, certainly a gem uh, here within the town of North Hempstead, situated in Port Washington. And uh, I wanted to stop by and speak to you about how wonderful this place is and what you have to offer the community, not only the local residents, but um, other people who, who come into Port Washington, specifically here to the landmark on Main Street. Can you let me know a little bit about, you know, uh, some of the things that you do here at the landmark? Absolutely. So since November 1995, we, when we opened our doors, we run this beautiful 425 seat theater. And we have uh, about 40 of our own shows every season, ranging from um, opening night with Jimmy Webb and Jane Monheit to closing this season with Kelly O'Hara. And we also rent our theater very extensively to all sorts of not-for-profits for fundraising, for art, autism, cancer. We have a bodybuilding competition that comes every year. <laughs> Indian Arrogantrums, all sorts of wonderful activities come here. And you also have uh, children programming. We do. Program. We have a um, family program. We have a speaker series called Conversations from Main Street. Um, you have it all here. That's great. Uh, I also understand that the town of North Hempstead uh, was able to help support the landmark, uh, and I think this year you're very excited to announce brand new what? <laughs> we have a beautiful new stage, and we can't wait to see it in use uh, starting very, very soon. We have um, new lighting fixtures that's going to be installed any day now. Um, we've painted. It's just, it's wonderful. We're so grateful to the town of North Hempstead for your support. Are you going to let me walk on stage? Of course. <laughs> we expect you to be acting on stage. Oh, please. <laughs> Tell me three things that most people don't know about the landmark. So we're a historic building. We are built in 1908, and we started off as a school, so we educated thousands school, of students. High school? Elementary school? It was high school and elementary school at different wow. stages in from 1909 to 1985. Thousands of Port Washingtonians were educated here. They're also, it's a multi-use building, so we have 59 apartments for low-income seniors upstairs and three other not-for-profit organizations that share our, our space. And we actually have NOLA night going on in Port Washington. All of the area restaurants and uh, organizations are signing on to offer a Cajun special and make it truly a New Orleans night here in Port Washington. That's amazing. And so you had that paired up. You had, you were able to get a lot of the restaurants to buy into a specific theme to match the performer for an evening. That's right, that's right. And so they, they, we work together so beautifully. They um, have a lot of the restaurants nearby. Actually, you have uh, theater menus so that if they know that a patron is coming to the theater, they give them an abridged menu so that they can make sure they get them here in time for the show. So as a patron, if I wanted to be able to uh, plan my evening out ahead of time, mm -hmm. how would I get this information in order to see which restaurants are participating um, with the landmark mm -hmm. um, so that I can make this evening an eventful evening for mm -hmm. my easy for our patrons, landmarkonmainstreet.org. Go to About Us and we have a restaurant area, that, that a restaurant tab that actually shows which restaurants participate with us. We're now walking <laughs> on Landmark's brand new stage, thanks due in part to the town of North Hempstead. We would never have been able to do this construction without the support of the town of North Hempstead, so thank you. You can feel for yourself. Isn't it fabulous? This stage is actually incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just phase one of an overall capital improvement project that's, that the landmark is doing? That's right. Um, our community will hear much more about our capital campaign that as the months go by, and hopefully by next summer, we'll be in a place to do a lot more construction as well. Now, I can clearly see that there are two brand new lighting tracks that have been installed in the ceiling and, and yet no lights. What's happening here? Um, we will be moving some of the lights, we're hopefully purchasing additional new lights as well to better light the stage around us. Um, and we're also getting new house lights, which will be arriving any minute, <laughs> which will be so, it'll just be great. It's hot up here. <laughs> it's, that's, that's amazing. I'm, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> 
Okay, so we have two very distinct walls. One is for who? So this is our gala wall. We have um, Tony nominees, Tony Award winners, um, Sutton Foster. You know her, of course, from <laughs> the early awesome. modern Millie and, and uh, Shrek the Musical and um, Anything Goes. And now, of course, on television, she's com coming out with a new TV show, Young Younger? Um, uh, younger? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Hi, Tony, what you mean? <laughs> yeah, but these, these, these are some of our gala performers. Over here, Dave Mason, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, Buckbeat Zydeco, Grammy Award winner. Um, Adam Pascal, of course, uh, local guy. Long Island, Long Island guy. <laughs> He's come here a couple of times. Joan Osborne coming back in November. We're thrilled um, to have this caliber of performers coming right here to Port Washington to entertain our audience. And, 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 and I know because I uh, attended a performance um, by the Indigo Girls. Oh, yes. Yes, that um, we sold out in two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Our fastest sellout to date, <laughs> and they were fantastic. Wall <laughs> of upcoming events. From opening night to, to closing night. How do you attract people to come to the landmark? I mean, what is your demographic? Our demographics are very diverse. We have um, about 60% of our audiences on a regular basis coming from outside the area. They come from Nassau, Suffolk, Queens, Manhattan. We love when they do the reverse commute and take the train down and see and our wonderful restaurants on the way. We're, we're within walking uh, Absolutely, walking distance four, from the train station. Mm -hmm, four blocks from the train. Um, we've had people come, uh, my, one of my favorite stories is Blue Oyster Cult when they came. We had people from 11 different states and seven different countries. Wow! three different continents <laughs> of those, those countries. It was really phenomenal. And they come, they spend their money here in the town of North Hempstead. It's fabulous. Now, you also have a gala coming up. That's right. Christine Eversall coming back to Time Tony Award winner <laughs> for amazing. Gray Gardens and, and 42nd Street. If somebody wants to find out some uh, information about the gala, how would they go about doing that? They can visit our website, landmarkonmainstreet.org. They can email gala at landmarkonmainstreet.org. Jeremy Jordan and his fantastic, lovely, talented wife, Ashley. Can we say Ashley Jordan? Ashley Jordan? Yeah. Ashley, Ashley Jordan. Ash Ashley Spencer is the professional is the name. Ashley Spencer, who, by the way, I feel like I have a bond with because yes. we both played Sandy and Grace. Um, but anyway, here we are, Business Buzz, Landmark on Main Street, Jean Rimsky Theater. And I had the pleasure of watching the both of them perform tonight. And I just wanted to say what a fabulous performance it was. And I wanted to thank Jeremy so much. You were amazing. Thanks. I want to know, for all of your fans out there, Landmark on Main Street in Port Washington, town of North Hempstead, how did you feel with the reaction from the audience this evening? I thought they were great. They were really great, really responsive. Um, they seemed to be like a lot of really... Um, great Broadway fans. A lot of young people came out, which is always great. It was wonderful. And uh, yeah, they were cheering and clapping and doing the ooing and aahing <laughs> in all the right places, thankfully. So, and, yeah. And if they wanted to see future performances of Jeremy Jordan, where uh, can they find that information from? Yeah, actually, I, uh, I'm doing a whole series of 54 Below uh, from October 27th through November 13th. So if you go to that website, and uh, just type my name in and see if you can snag a ticket before they're all gone. Fantastic. And I'm going to turn this way to Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> we were doubly surprised and thrilled that we had the opportunity to also witness his wife come on stage and perform. Mm -hmm. How about you? Where can we see you perform in the future? With my husband at 54 Below. <laughs> <laughs> She goes I'm with me. I'm currently unemployed, but looking for a job. So, um, We're actors. That's that's yes. basically ninety percent of our life. That's showbiz, babe. But it's I'm true. doing Jeremy's other shows with him. I feel like I should be holding a full-on picture of Ashley as well. I know. So I didn't just make face. imagine her here. And if you want to see both Ashley and Jeremy Jordan perform, please Google them. Um, <laughs>
Just and you'll Google be, them. Google them. You'll find out where they'll be performing next. Yes. But this is the type of caliber that the landmark on Main Street, Gene Rimsky Theater, has. And, and certainly, we hope that you'll be returning in the near future. I'd love to, yeah. And yeah. as well. It was gorgeous out here. I really enjoyed it. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Town and North Hempstead Business Buzz. Thank you.